Oh my God, you guys, a massive amount of counterfeit goods, fake goods, fake luxury goods seized at a flea market. What? Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, <laughs> push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday, and y'all are invited to join me in the live chats. Welcome, live chats. Hi, everybody. You guys, we'll go, we'll go. Listen, this is news reported by uh, Yahoo.com. Massive amount of fake goods seized from Macomb County flea market. Seven people were charged and more than 2,000 counterfeit designer brand items were seized at a Warren flea market and two residences in Macomb County during an investigation into fake merchandise, authorities said. Let me show you the pictures. There were 379 counterfeit Louis Vuitton items. Cha! Baby Yoda says, cha! Um... 379 counterfeit Louis Vuitton items, as well as 1,643 other counterfeit designer brand items, and more than $100,000 in cash, honey, on the flea market. Oh, well, oh, oh I'm living. <laughs> Jack Dean, the backdrop to protect and to serve Warren. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. $100,000 in cash um, seized when Warren police executed search warrants during the investigation this month. The Macomb County Prosecutor's Office said this week. And the police's special investigation unit began investigating uh, reports of counterfeit designer goods being sold at the County Line Trade Center in May. Now, it conducted surveillance this month and identified four kiosks selling counterfeit merchandise from brands including Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, we like to call it Gucci, uh, Versace or Versace, Chanel or Chanel, <laughs> Coach or Coke, Armani or Armani, MCM or Mgm. Ferragamo, or Ferragamo, and Ray-Ban. According to a release from the prosecutor's office, and investigators executed search warrants at the kiosks and two residences. Now, one each in Warren and Sterling Heights, seizing the counterfeit goods and cash, honey. Cash. Now, there were seven suspects, and it, apparently it's a family, and here we go again, you know catching kind of like not stopping the big mistake that's going on here like not going at the root of the problem but rather scratching the surface but there's an interesting point about the surface of the situation there's a surface there's more bags you guys there's more bags here you go oh look and the fake yeezys honey the yeezy 350 with the boost the Gucci, the sunglasses, honey. The wallets. Yes, they've confiscated it all, honey. The seven suspects were charged with possession with intent to deliver counterfeit property. A five-year felony, authorities said. Police said four are from Warren, two are from Sterling Heights, and one is from Detroit. They range in age from 28 years old to 89 years old. When I read that, I knew it was a family. It's a family getting by in America. Are they doing something illegal? Yes. Welcome to America. Um, now, uh, but he, okay, so police uh, said uh, most of the suspects are related in some way and authorities believe they were working together. But he was not sure for how long. Authorities are continuing to investigate, including where the money is going. And then they're quoted to have... Oh, by the way, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Just my opinion. Not rooted in any reality of facts. Everything's alleged, darling. 
The investigation, allegedly, uh, police said, is deeper than just the counterfeit goods. This was said last Wednesday night, adding he could not go into further details. In the earlier release, this person said authorities will take proactive approach to investigate consumer fraud in the city. He reiterated that stands Wednesday night. The county prosecutor said these crimes take away from merchandise authenticity and deceive and cheat the public. Now, honey, you cannot cheat the public for way too long. The public knows. If you're selling me a Gucci bag for $50 or $100, I am born yesterday. I'm going to know it fake. So don't use that baloney excuses. You know, like we had this other conversation about, you know, Chanel and like sustainability and how luxury brands use the sustainability card to be able to get away with cheaping out on a lot of things. So this is really irritating to me. And I'm like, oh, oh, you're doing. Oh, so we the consumer should be thankful to you for this. No, honey. No, no. Not every consumer has two, three, four thousand dollars to buy a Gucci bag, a Louis Vuitton bag, an Hermes bag, a Chanel bag. Some people want to have them for all the wrong reasons, granted, but want to have the replica version because they can't afford the real one. They're not fooling themselves. Nobody's fooling them if the bag is that cheap, if the replica bag is that cheap, into like believing that it's authentic. Some people might get fooled, but come on. So don't sell this as you're protecting me, the consumer, by taking all this stuff. Because all you're doing is protecting the big man. You're protecting the big corporations, ultimately. Maria B says, LOL, the audacity, honey. Trinity Strop says, is that by me? Is that? I don't get it. Uh, Melanie says, this is crazy. Sad all around, says Oli. Pap says, it's just a small family business, y'all. Just says, support local family-owned businesses. Sharon Cole says, they need to feed their kids. Jack says, keeping it in the family. Kim says, wholesome family. Pop says, allegedly, allegedly. Wintessy says, hashtag no facts. Blonde and Chatty says, OMG. Trinity says, I meant that happened by me? Hello? Oh, to me, you mean. I mean, we know, LOL. Uh, Jane says, those bags look nasty. Jane Davenport. Jack says, baloney. Frozen Luxury says, what in the plastic Neverfull straps is going on? Your access to the red carpet says, I see that all the time at flea markets. Sustainability, my peach, says Pap Zoltan. And uh, Jack says, does the article state what they will do with the items. If not, expect a surge on eBay. Ooh, Jack, the shade of it all. Well, are they supposed to be destroying them, the counterfeit items? But you never know. We'll go, we'll go. But I want to say, personally, I feel like, again, of course this is illegal. I do not condone by any means any sales of counterfeit goods, replicas, none of that shit. None of it. Not condoning any of it. I have a problem when authorities go after these families like this and make it sound like, oh, well, you know, we're on it. We discovered this huge crime ring. I'm like, girl, what about all the drugs that you're not really busting, all the drug dealers you're not busting, all the government criminality, the corruption you're not busting? You're not going to change diddly squat by getting one family into prison. Uh, maybe this was the only way they had to, to feed themselves. It, maybe they were living illegally in America because America makes it a living hell for people to get official paperwork to stay in the country. You don't know what shit and hell they had to go through to sustain themselves. I'm not saying they did. Maybe this was just a side hustle to have extra cash. And maybe this family is rotten to the core. But... I'm also saying maybe, just maybe, the authorities are making something huge out of something not that huge. And they're not really running after the real culprits and the real issues at hand. Because, quite frankly, you can't use the excuse on me saying, well, this family is, you know, we busted them and we're, we're saving you, the consumer, because they would have tricked you into believing that you're buying authentic goods. I'm like, honey, nobody would have tricked me. They would have sold me these tacky glasses for 20, 30 bucks. I would never have bought them. But 
If they're selling you Gucci sunglasses for $30, you know they're not authentic. Like, don't sell the consumer short. Why, oh why, do all these brands and authorities always make us sound like we're idiots? Us, the consumers, I mean. Why do they always say, we're doing this for your good? I'm like, hold on, girl. I know what's for my good, okay? You don't. Are you paying my bills? Are you paying my telephone bills? Because if you don't, you know, we, we, we cannot chill. So quit the crap, okay? Because my taxpayer money goes to paying you, Mr. Authority, Mr. Policeman. And basically, you should be thanking me for that. You have a job and you have money every month thanks to the taxes that I pay. So just because I'm dumb enough <laughs> to pay those taxes doesn't mean I'm dumb enough to fall for this. So please stop using us, the consumers, as a reason to bust people like this or to bust little companies like this. Because no, you don't have to, for me, Boo Boo, you don't have to do it for me. Thank you very much. You don't have to do it for me. What I would like you to do is to bust corrupt politicians. What I would like you to do is to bust corrupt people in the, in, in, in the, um, um, in the police. What I would like you to do is to bust corruption within the pharmaceutical industry. You know, the lobbying that's going on in Washington. I would love you to bust those people. Busting a family for selling fake goods, honey. Yeah, good for you. You want an applause? Good for you. You're, you're saving the country by doing this. Girl, come on. And please stop using us consumers as the reason why you're, do you're doing this to keep me safe. You gotta be freaking kidding me. This gets really on my nerves. Black Noise says, I don't think you do. So you and me are through. Uh, 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 uh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and this is what really gets you know this is why i wanted to make this video ultimately yes i am against counterfeit goods i'm against selling counterfeit goods but i'm also against the institutions the government authorities using us always as the reason why they're not doing their job basically because they're like look we did a great job we went to a flea market and we busted a family that's selling counterfeit goods yeah uh, i'm like no <laughs> no 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 just no there's worse things that you should be dealing with instead of this okay honey boo boo cha just saying we'll go we'll go we'll go we'll go keep it in perspective keep it real take several seats don't come for the consumer and, and use us as an excuse for all your bullshit. Just saying. Okay. Nyeh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never give up on love. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And subscribe, will ya? Bye.